If you're watching this and you're interested in becoming a pilot, today I wanted to share with you my story. Truly, I don't remember when I started liking airplanes. Um, things that I, I remember a lot from my childhood is, is uh, my mom was very big into aviation. Uh, she had never unfortunately had the, uh, uh, the chance to go and get her um, licenses or anything like that, but uh, she had an instructor in school that was a flight instructor and they uh, uh, got to fly around in his little 172 uh, a little bit, as well as um, a link trainer, which for those of you who don't know, is a very, very early IFR trainer. And uh, it is essentially a, a box uh, that they put you in that kind of moves a little bit and there's a plotter uh, connected to it so that the instructor sitting outside of this box could see kind of where you were flying and give you instructions and things and it just had a little stick and a couple of VOR instruments and you were just sealed entirely in this black box and you were flying around and uh, so her school her instructor had one of those um, and she was able to fly that and so she was very big into aviation uh, she would read me airplane specs out of these airplane spotter guidebooks uh, there was about maybe two dozen of these little tiny compact books and all they had was like the silhouette of the airplane and all these specs uh, from the plane and that's where my aviation nerddom came from so from then it was a lot of uh, I did music for a while I did uh, some programming and uh, video game design that kind of thing and it just never really hit it was all fun things I enjoyed the hobby aspect of it but uh, the either the industries were just so ridiculously competitive or the hours were long or I just felt that I wasn't having fun doing it anymore and uh, so when I was about 24 25 I uh, uh, did a discovery flight here with Thrust Flight in one of the sport cruisers, and um, I, from that moment on, I knew that this is for sure what I wanted to do. I had played flight simulators all my life. I had flown uh, radio-controlled airplanes as a, as a kid, you know, the big wooden ones with uh, gasoline engines, um, and uh, I had a Navy instructor help me with those, and it was just a, an absolute blast, but um, when I got in a, a small airplane for the first time, that's when I really knew. And uh, for those of you who haven't taken a discovery flight yet, I highly recommend it. Um, it absolutely will tell you yay or nay on this kind of thing, right? If you come out a little bit green, don't worry, just fly some more and you'll get over it. But uh, um, for the most part, it's, I mean, that was it. It was, uh, it, after that discovery flight, it was a, a matter more of just amassing enough finances to do it. Uh, as I said in a, a previous video, I had to keep my job. I, I knew I needed to keep working to pay the bills. I would have to do flight training outside of that. And uh, um, I was able to find a flight school that worked well with me for that. Um, and uh, from then it was just kind of, flying every day all day and uh, after I got my private instrument uh, I took a little bit of a break uh, uh, to do commercial stuff and uh, I enjoyed every minute of it I was able to do some maintenance side of things some more administrative side of things on the school here as well um, and then after I got that got my CFI began instructing and um, and then just kind of worked my way from there. So the goal is to go to uh, American. I'll probably do that by way of, of Envoy, who I'm a cadet for right now. Um, that I know we'll, we'll see how this actually turns out, but uh, I guess American a few months ago bought some of those uh, boom jets, those supersonic uh, airliners, and that would be the, the ultimate goal, obviously, I think, uh, uh, for a civilian pilot to be able to do something like that. Well, again, we'll see if they're, they ever get put in service or how good they are when they are in service, but um, that's just kind of the, the boyhood dream coming and true on that side of things so and that's my story about uh, how i got into aviation where i want to go in aviation everything aviation related of revolving me so leave your story in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos